Hi guys, it's Frank Jr. from All for Sports and Fitness and I'm glad you took the time tonight to watch this video. I just want to go through with you some of the new equipment that we got in today, some of our pre-core uh, ellipticals, AMT trainers, and bikes, uprights and recumbents. Um, right behind me is the new AMT trainer. I'm going to spend a little time teaching you how to use it because it's a little bit of a weird motion when you first get started out, but I think if you start to do it the correct way, you'll really, really like it. A lot of people really enjoyed it today and uh, said it was the best workout they've ever had on a cardio piece. So. Uh, hopefully you can get in in the next couple days and give it a shot. Um, after the AMT trainer, what I'm going to do is put you through uh, just a quick uh, rundown of how to use the new ellipticals. We have two upper body movement ellipticals and two lower body cross trainer ellipticals and then also a the three uh, recumbent bikes and two upright pre-core bikes. Okay, so the first thing to do when you start out on the new AMT trainer is to make sure you don't just go ahead and just start into a regular stride like an elliptical or a, or a Cybex Arc trainer. You want to make sure you start with just a stepping motion up and down. So to start, you'll stand straight up and down with both feet directly next to each other and then start by pressing your feet towards the ground and just kind of shift your weight back and forth from one foot to the other. Okay, so you're just kind of doing a stepping motion instead of an elliptical motion. Then gradually you can start to make a little bit of a circle, go really slow with it because if you make a herky-jerky movement it'll actually kind of throw you a little bit and it'll feel really bumpy like I just felt. <laughs> and then you can start to take a little bit of a bigger stride, okay, almost into a full running motion. So really with this trainer you have three different options. You have a stepper up and down, you have more of an elliptical motion and then you have more of a run and you can do that without your arms on the piece. Okay the next thing to look at on the pre-core AMT trainer would be the control panel. As you start to move up and down the machine is self-powered so it's going to turn on on its own. Uh, it's going to give you your calorie count at the top which hopefully you're not really paying attention to because it's not going to give you anything accurate. Maybe it's a good guide to go by. Uh, it's going to give you your heart rate here on the right which you can do, check by holding on to these handles here. Uh, in order to get a program started all you need to do is press either manual or interval. You can do a heart rate type program or a fat burner program. Okay. If you want to just do a quick start, press the button right here. That's probably the simplest way to get started is clicking, clicking on quick start. Okay, from there, oh, it says program not available. I guess that's because I was already in another program. But to go up or down, sometimes people get confused on these new machines. You need to press this to increase the resistance, which on this machine is really going to kick your butt. Or you can decrease it by pressing the button below. That's pretty much it. Everything else is kind of self-explanatory. Um, the different metrics you can press here, which is going to change what you're looking at up top. Um, this is kind of a cool feature. It gives you the stride length. So if I'm just stepping up and down, it's going to stay in this green zone. If I do more an, ellipt an elliptical motion, it's going to go to that second level. And if I really run and sprint, like now, it's going to take me up to the bigger stride. All right, and that's, that actually shows you what muscles you're using if you look really close. Okay, so after the pre-core AMT trainers, we'll take a quick step over to the left, and these are our new ellipticals. Okay, it has the same basic control panel on the unit. Um, this is, these two have the arm action, okay, which doesn't have the up, incline or decline, it'll make it that way, but these are the, new, uh, the newest version of the pre-core elliptical. Uh, then you move over, now you have the cross trainer, which I think the cross trainer is kind of cool because it does have the option to have the ramp go up and down and kind of changes the stride length, okay, where the, the arm one doesn't do it just because the arms are attached to the feet and it can't really change the, the height of the, the ramp when you have the arms attached. Uh, we're moving on down, here are our two, the newer ones uh, that we purchased a few years ago. Um, that still look resemble the old style elliptical. We still held on to four of those. Uh, and then the arc trainers, don't think that they're all gone. We just moved them over towards the window, so you'll be able to find them over here. Uh, and then just spinning us around, we're gonna get over to our brand new bikes. Okay, and we have three pre-core recumbent bikes. Control panel's pretty much the same as the AMT trainer. And then two upright bikes. 
okay, this is the first batch of equipment that's in. There's a little space left for two new Kaiser spin bikes. Uh, we're getting some Schwinn Aerodynes as well, and those are gonna be moved up to the front of the gym. Okay, finally got that new TV in, that one that was <laughs> uh, forgotten, but now we're, both, we're back up with all the flat screen TVs. Hopefully this was uh, something that um, was informative. This way you can get on that AMT trainer as quickly as possible. Um, without uh, having it feel kind of funny for you. But just please ask us at the desk if there's anything you, you need us to uh, help you with with the new equipment. Uh, I'm just gonna sign off for the night and we're gonna definitely do a lot more of these educational videos in a lot more in depth. I'd like to do a little bit more than what I just did, but obviously it's a little late at night and I just wanted to get this out to you guys now. I'll talk to you soon, bye-bye.